Robert J. Conley here. Today's topic, intuitive spring cleaning. <laughs> All right, let's have an honest conversation about us intuitives and some of our glaring deficiencies. For the most part, terrible paperwork. Give an intuitive a pile of paperwork and you'll have three piles of paperwork. <laughs> uh, household chores, pretty bad. Wanting to be good at it, not very good. Um, being on time. There are a few in intuitive uh, types that are actually pretty punctual, but for the most part, intuitives have a different experience of the clock. Um, uh, <laughs> what the, the, uh, typical, the typical intuitive t-shirt would read, I find deadlines humorous. It's actually deadlines that get intuitives uh, focused. It's the panic of the of having had three months to complete a project and the fact that uh, with 24 hours to go, you still don't really know what you're going to do. So what does spring cleaning look like for intuitives? Oh, one other thing that uh, typically a little weak, well, punctuality, I think I just said that, but also just keeping a calendar. Uh, and, you know, so spring cleaning for intuitives I'm going to suggest that it looks a little different than what uh, the, the term typically means. Um, because truly, if, uh, if for most intuitives, um, these things don't go well. So if you're an intuitive and you can afford a housekeeper, you need to hire a housekeeper. Um, but, uh, you know, so that's on that front. But as far as keeping yourself organized, the one thing that intuitives can do is is really use their phones to their fullest capability to always enter tasks in tasks and reminders uh, to keep your calendar uh, as you go don't don't think you're going to remember to put something in stop put it in um, and by the way that also means don't don't be trying to do this uh, in the car on the move um, you know you learn the voice features learn everything you can about your phone that will keep you on track because that is a major frustration for the non-intuitives in your lives. So um, get better at that. But also intuitive housekeeping is, is not just about physically cleaning things. It's about going through your mental list of, list of things that you want to be doing better and more importantly, the things that you know you need to stop doing. What are those habits that you continue to uh, to engage in that are not not leading you to that level of remember the four words effectiveness accuracy authenticity and harmony that what are the things you're doing that prevent those things from happening and so look at spring cleaning as an opportunity to go through um, habits that are not lending themselves to those four critical words and start to be more ruthless in eradicating them from your lives. And when I talk about being more ruthless, I mean doing what it takes to stop doing those things. Learn to delegate, learn to say, <coughs> excuse me, to say no. If something needs to be done and you know you're bad at it, forget the fact that you have really good intentions up front. Just live with the reality that you're not the person to be volunteering to do it. So in this, in this uh, Holy Week on the Christian calendar and in what we are is, I think we're still in the first week. Maybe the, we're at the, anyway, we're in the beginning of spring. So spring cleaning, go through that list of things that continue to uh, make you appear ineffective to others, that undermine your power, your ability to live powerfully, to have your intu intuition fully blooming and serving for the greater good of yourself, your organization, and, and the world at large. You have the key to our future. So take this time, do that spring cleaning, focus on eliminating things that you are doing that are undermining your own ability to live in your intuition. Kind of short, kind of sweet, maybe not too sweet, but that's what I've got for you today. Have a great one.